I recently just took down Russia. And next up is SCA. We're going to be looking at a Wraith King gameplay and seeing could he have won this SCA match because apparently, and according to all the comments, SE Asia is the hardest bracket in Dota to gain MMR in. So we're going to be seeing if that is true or not in today's video. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying, guys, but how do you carry Dota in SE Asia? Let's go! This pro guide you're about to see is one of hundreds, just like it, over at GameLeap.com. GameLeap is your number one stop to become a specialist in your desired role fast. Check us out today with the discount link in the description below to unlock your hidden potential. But for now, let's hop into the video. So this was random. This is not a replay I took from anyone. I just found this on Dota Buff. It is Loki on the Wraith King. First off, you don't want to buy Quilling Blade, guys. Not sure when this is going to stop happening uh, in Dota. I don't know who thought this was a good idea or who told the community to do this at any point. Oh boy, and you just picked up a magic stick. All right, guys, all I'm going to say is if you're 2K MMR and you're telling me that there's no way to get out, it's not true. I'm just being honest. It's not true. Like, just improve yourself. Stop telling yourself that there's no way out and you'll go up. Just start thinking critically about the game and you will go up. Because frankly, the fact that he just bought a magic stick from the base tells me that there's already a lot of issues. Now, if I give a quick little click through like I usually do, Storm Spirit has a clarity in the wrong starting items. Lion's build is, eh, it's okay. The wind lace is meh. Quelling Blade, PA Offlane, Abracer, Earthshaker. Guys, and you might be like, yeah, this is the team I always have to deal with, like, speed. When I'm playing these games, this is this the items they buy, and there's no nothing I can do about it. Yeah, you're right, man. That was actually really intelligent of you. There's nothing you can do about it, and you're actually really, really lucky about that, because it actually happens on the other team, too. Want to check? Puck has a magic wand. Skyrath Mage has I, this. Pudge. As I don't know what's going on here. That's really bad. Wind Ranger, that's even worse. Drow, fairly decent. Could could use another set of tangos. All I'm saying, guys, is you have to stop telling yourself that there is no way out. The first thing you have to do is tell yourself you can make it out, and the second thing is believe it. And then you will start going up. Also, buy the right starting items, because frankly, not a single person in this game has the right ones. How is that even slightly possible? It is the most basic thing you can do in Dota, because you can look it up. Regardless, uh, we're going to be talking about specifically what you want to avoid and what you should be doing to carry your games. And I'm maybe going to talk about different roles, right? We're following a Wraith King, but I'll give you the general gist of what typically goes wrong and, and the main ideas that actually cloud people's minds that hold them back. The first one is the idea that you need a Magic Wand as a starting item. Personally, I'm a big fan of Magic Wand, but in this case, not that good. It's not that good. All right, Loki, you know, I'm a big fan of the item. All right, but I don't know if you're trying to trick me. Uh, this is just bad. All right, SC Asia, now is your moment of truth. The long-awaited CS 5-minute check. Now, if there's a single person above 25 CS right now, I will bow down to SEA and tell them that they were right. There's no way out. But I didn't look. I'm not lying. But if no one's above 25, you guys have to admit that you can make it out. Here we go. Oh, the highest is 16, meaning he has probably gotten about... Mm, what is it, a third of the possible last hits? Something around that? Not that good. Not that good. It's unfortunate that all of these players might actually believe that they can't get out, even though not a single one of them could actually reach that mark. <laughs> and I know I'm being a bit sarcastic, but I, I mean it, guys. Like, I'm being serious. The fact that, like, this guy just bought clarities and has, you know, 7 CS of 5 minutes is a major issue. Also, you're stunning when you're not even close to in melee range, which is... 9 times out of 10 inappropriate unless you're setting up for a gank and this is just what I have issues with It's just lack of any idea of efficiency guys. I'm gonna ask you. What should he be doing here? Realistically, uh, you could be like he should what, what is he supposed to do speed? I have no idea what you're talking about. Shouldn't he just be laning? Yeah, he could be laning. Oh god the skeleton spawn. Yes He can be laning. That's actually not that bad All I'm saying is that what I would be doing if I'm him is starting to look to build up skeletons So that I can jungle ASAP because frankly once you get enough skeletons You just shred through the jungle and you afk farm for the first 19 to 20 minutes before you get, you know, whatever radiance timing it is, hopefully earlier. But until then, you're just shredding through the jungle, right? Over and over and over again. If you go mode Hector, you will get out, you'll get out of your bracket. If you guys don't know who Hector is, he's one of the best players, the carry players in the world, and he was extremely good at AFK farming at TI, right? And it's not actually AFK farming. Uh, I'm, that's what I'm going to call it for simplicity's sakes, though. Regardless, so I have a constant issue. This player is not playing his hero. I'm going to make a very important clarification that every single player in Dota needs to understand. What does your hero do? What does your hero do? Okay, let's go quickly down the list because this is so important. Earthshaker, what do you do? 
Well, you you know, you have a lot of teamfight impact with a blink dagger and you gank, all right? So maybe he'll try to gank people and he'll try to get a blink dagger. These can be his two goals. PA, you try to come online late game and scale. So she should be probably farming. Storm Spirit, you know, you can kind of control tempo a bit, but you also kind of want to scale. So he can be farming a bit. And then you'll be like, Wraith King, eh, Hero is pretty weak early game because, you know, the skeletons are a bit hard to control to some extent. You know, I know they follow the stun, but still, they don't really do that much, right? And for the most part, you just get bullied out. So you might be like, well, Speed, they have three farming heroes. There's no possible way any of them can get items, right? It's impossible. Like, all of their games are over. Let's be real. Is, does anyone actually take a lot of farm this game? I would be genuinely shocked if there was no space this game. And I'm going to do a little bit of a game, what I like to call the space crater. And also, okay, oh, this is super important. He just died. There's two heroes top, two heroes bottom. Where is he going to TP? I see one open lane. If I'm him, I see one open lane. Let's see if he guesses it. I don't know if you guys can figure it out. There's one open lane. It's pretty hard though. Oh, he TPs top. Damn. Now I know, okay, the Skyrath Mage actually just TP'd back mid, which would be an abysmal lane for um, the Wraith King, so it actually, you know, wouldn't be that much better for him. But realistically, what he could do, that would be significantly better than splitting XP and gold with Storm, because guys, you don't have to stay in your lane. There's no requirement in Dota's rulebook that says stay in your lane. What he could do is wait for Skyrath to push out the lane, jungle until then, right, take this camp, pay attention to mid, be like, oh, Skyrath's pushing the lane, and I go back. Easy last hits. Because frankly, that's all your hero should be doing, right? Raid King, Storm, and PA, that's all they should be doing, looking for open farm. So why is he looking to TP top into his Storm Spirit? Why would you do that? Why are you pushing a tower? Your hero's trying to amp farm. Why are you standing still? Good lord, this is a ranked game and people tell me that they can't get out of the bracket. Are you kidding me, guys? Stop being ignorant. Just pick these cores and stay in the jungle. And I'm not saying that because I'm trying to advocate for AFK farming. I'm telling you how to play heroes that play around jungle camps, which is frankly what Wraith King and Storm are. No, they don't jungle the whole game, but they jungle when they have to and when the lanes are dangerous or don't provide them much farm, right? If the Earthshaker's taking your farm in the lane, fine, let him take it. Just go jungle with skeletons. The problem is what you're going to do probably again is summon them, go on the puck and waste them. I'll Again, right right here you're definitely gonna summon them okay you didn't summon them do you summon them now what's the plan what's going on here when are you gonna summon skeleton i mean in that case you could wow oh <laughs> Woo! oh lord loki loki i'm sorry if you're watching this but man i i i just hope you see what's going on guys i'm going to pause the video Please understand this. You have to be able to be the consistent factor to win Dota. If you are not the consistent factor who is consistently, critically thinking about what you are doing right and wrong each game, no matter what bracket you win, you will get stuck. I don't care if you're 3K and you think this doesn't apply to you. I don't care if you're 4K. Everything applies to you. Stop being ignorant and telling me that certain things apply and certain things don't. Everything applies. Focus on everything you can do to learn and you will get out of your bracket over time, right? I didn't get a 100% win rate to get out of my bracket. I got like a 55% for a while, then I eventually got it up and up and up all the way to 60. And yes, that is particularly high. But the reason I could do that is because I was very harsh on myself. Not in a mean way, I didn't bully myself when I went to bed. I'm like, Speed, you're an embarrassment to society. You should probably just kill yourself. No, I didn't really do that. It was more just like, hey, wh why did I die in this game? You know, could I have carried? Even if someone was running down mid, like, could I have carried? Yes, I, I would go that far. I, w I would generally go that far because I cared about getting better, and I think you guys do too. So because you do, take my word for this and start playing for yourself. Because you want to know what space is, guys. You want to know how you carry these games. I want you to look at the map right now. We're going to blow up the map. Here we go. Big map. Big map. Where's the farm? Where's the farm? I'm going to draw a little bit of a bubble on the big map. Here we go. I can't draw a bubble. Here we go. Why can't I draw? Okay, I can't draw a bubble, guys. I'm just going to do it with the cursor. Ready? All of the left side of the map. It's all open. You would think if you had three farming cores, someone would be taking the space. That's just not the case. But I'm, I'm being serious. Like, you're trying to get out of your bracket. Like, even if I'm playing the support, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick Leshrac and run down the lanes. In fact, like, I have a, a video, I believe, on the main website talking about this, where it's just like, hey, split push and, and get solo pickoffs to win. It's the best way to win in solo queue, right? The Storm Venom. I don't know, but just playing inside lanes and 
playing to push in lanes and then solo pick off people who are weaker than you and trying to push in lanes themselves is the way to play dota like this is great you see what he's doing now guys this is what he should have been doing the whole time especially with his skeletons right like just shredding through the jungle but he keeps over and over and over again just like what is going on there's a wind ranger right next to you and i can't even see her blade mail blade mail use blade mail blade mail. Oh, okay that was the worst time to use it um but really don't go for these weird item builds don't rush blade mail don't i don't know what's so hard honestly guys i'm gonna give you a spiel that i give to so many of my students honestly haven't said on youtube a lot that i think helps everyone you have to i mean this with the bottom of my heart you have to stop worrying about useless information like drafting like you know uh you know what hero you think is the best in the meta what rotations you're gonna make how one person on your team casted their spells, why the neutral creep denied you. Like, all these things frankly do not matter. You want to know what matters? The fact that this Skyrath mage didn't walk backwards when an Earthshaker was walking up to him, right? And frankly, the Skyrath is doing pretty well. But at the same time, like, why aren't you walking backwards? Like, you're not going to die. I'm just saying, oh, no, you are going to die. Like, how do you get hit by that? Oh, woo! Uh, no, guys focus on mechanics I, I i legitimately have read comments where they're like speed you keep saying the same thing right or like speed how does this apply fundamentals are the key to success and i know this video is pretty ranty and not really hero specific but i think it's it's because everyone needs to hear this in fact this video should just be called like tips to gain mmr and get out of your trench because these ideas that i'm telling you right now if you can actually imply them into your game you'll go up it's actually that easy you just have to focus on fundamentals, like hit your spells, focus on split pushing if you're a split push hero. If you're a hero like Night Stalker, you know, maybe wrap on mid instead and, and then push out waves afterwards. But once again, take the open farm. And the last thing I'm going to leave you guys with before we just make like a couple more jokes <laughs> is split pushing. What do I mean by split pushing? Split pushing is by far, by far the best way to win MMR. And no, let me be clear, when I say split pushing, I do not mean you have to take towers. In fact, it is the complete opposite. I would actually be afraid if you started walking up to every single tower that you know you know you get to. But what I would like to see is that he spawns skeletons into this lane and gets the lane into the tower, right? Then when the tower is getting pressured, he takes this camp, this camp, this camp, this camp, this camp, this camp, and then after he's done, hopefully the wave will be pushing back out and repeat. Now let's say they gank him top. You TP bottom, do the same exact thing. And when you get the enemy team to run back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, you win. If the enemy team is chasing and running around, they are not farming. And if you're farming and making them chase you around, do you understand how much a net worth lead you're gonna gain? They're staying neutral in net worth and you are going up. You will gain MMR. And that is really all I wanna leave you guys with today's video because I wanna get this uh, off my chest um, in general and, and talk about SEA because guys, just look at the numbers. I could go all scientific if you wanted me to. I could go all facts-based. Just be like, hey, look at this timing. Look at your missed spells. Like, I could just only talk about mechanics, which are just, like, frankly, is what is needed to some extent. But really, what you players need to do is, is stop complaining about your teammates. Like, I, I want to, hopefully, someone can just, like, record a game and show me their chat. Something like that. Show me your chat. I, I'm genuinely curious if in a game like this where everyone's just being a bunch of hooligans and not playing well, there's actually still people complaining about their teammates because no one, and I mean no one, deserves to complain in a game like this. No one deserves to p complain in any game, frankly. I mean, we all do it, and I understand it's human nature. I've done it, you've done it, we have all done it. But really, there's no room for it if you actually care about getting better. And that's all I'm going to end the video with. Hopefully you guys enjoyed and can, you know, gain some MMR now. Just understand that this is going to help you so much uh, above anything else. Like, I can't... You could watch every single piece of content in the world, but if you don't imply what I said in this video, it's GG. It's really GG. You're not going to make it, right? Hopefully you can get to that point, and I, I really, really do wish that for you guys. So if this helped or you liked any of the ideas, then yeah, like the video and subscribe to the channel to help us grow. I appreciate it as always, and hopefully I'll see you in the next one. Peace, guys. And I love you. Are you tired of being hard stuck at your rank? Over at GameLeap.com, we have a library of hundreds of guides authored by pro players and coaches covering literally every aspect of Dota. Whether you're looking to master a new hero or role or just polish up your existing skills, GameLeap is the proven place for competitive gamers to hone their craft and unlock their secret potential. Hit the link on screen right now.
right now to take advantage of our special offer for a 25% discount, guys, 25%, and start your journey today. Here comes the sun that shines on me, shines on you.